Om Sum was the sort of boy who asked questions that could make even the smartest grown-up pause. On one particularly sunny afternoon, while chewing a piece of bubblegum, a thought suddenly popped into his head. What would happen if someone swallowed chewing gum? Without mm -hmm. warning, the gum slipped down his throat before he could even decide if he wanted mm -hmm. to test the theory. One moment he was chewing, and the next he was gulping. Mm -hmm. It was gone, vanished, swallowed. Amsam froze. His eyes widened. He dashed to his mirror and inspected his tongue. Still pink. Then he poked his stomach. Still soft. But what if the gum was just hiding, preparing to turn into a sticky blob monster that would take over his insides? He couldn't take any chances. He needed answers, and fast. So, like any scientifically-minded adventurer, Aumsum decided to go on an imaginary journey inside his own body. With a deep breath and a stretch of imagination, he shrank himself down. Mentally, of course. And pictured traveling down his own esophagus like a miniature explorer on a mission. He zoomed past the throat, and into the stomach, dodging imaginary splashes of orange juice and half-digested cereal. There, in the squishy, noisy chamber of digestion, sat the gum. Not chewing, not stretching, just floating quietly, looking very confused. Om Sam imagined the stomach's enzymes coming over like curious hosts at a party, trying to break it down like they did everything else. But gum was different. It wasn't like crackers or apples. It didn't crumble. It didn't melt. It just stayed. The stomach tried its best, but the gum stayed stubborn, refusing to become mush. That didn't mean disaster, though. Amsam knew better than to panic. His science books had taught him that gum might not be digested, but that didn't mean it would stay stuck forever. Like a polite visitor who doesn't eat anything at the party, but still knows when to leave. The gum would quietly pass through the rest of the digestive system and exit like everything else that wasn't needed. His imaginary journey continued as he followed the gum into the intestines. The winding tunnel was long and twisty, like a slide in a very strange amusement park. He pictured the gum sliding along, slowly but surely, with no hurry and no trouble. Eventually, it would find its way out. Huh? Back in the real world, Amsam <laughs> blinked and smiled. His worries melted away just like the minty flavor from that gum had hours ago. He hadn't broken any laws of nature. He hadn't turned into a bubble-blowing monster. He had simply swallowed something that the body didn't use, and that was perfectly okay. Hmm.